Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm in Minnesota. I drove here today. It took four hours with Salem. I didn't record any of it because... Well, I was already dealing with a cat. It would have been hard to also deal with my phone while driving, so I did not do that, but I'm ready for this week. Can't promise a lot's gonna happen. It's gonna be a very much just Bella kind of week, so hope you're into that. Good morning, guys. Happy early Monday morning. I'm on my way to bring Salem to the vet. She just has a little checkup appointment, make sure everything's all good and dandy. So she's next to me in the car. She's not having a good time, but that's okay. She doesn't understand that this is what's best for her, but I do, so. Two things I have to do today are bring Salem to the vet, that's one. And the second thing is that I have a doctor's appointment. It's just a doctor's day for us, isn't it, Salem? Other than that, I'm gonna go visit my neurologist. That's what I'm going for my doctor's appointment, so that will be fine and dandy. He's fuck. Good thing I'm just on a gravel road going 15 miles per hour. Anyways, I guess I'll just do it like this. I'm gonna go see my neurologist. He's retiring next year, so I'm gonna go say bye to him. Adios, but so that'll be something. Here's Salem. Can you see her? So today is going to be quite the crazy day for me. Right now, I am actually off to the dentist for an appointment. Ooh, just like the usual bi-yearly. Is bi-yearly the right twice a year cleaning? Um, hoping for no cavities, but I'm for some reason not feeling super confident, even though I'm taking better care of my teeth now than I ever have. But and not really eating sugar, but that's age, I guess. That's fine. And then after the dentist appointment, which needs to go quickly because I need to get home for this next one. I need to go pick up my mom. And then we're going to the DMV because I have to get my driver's license renewed because that expires in January, but I won't be here in January, so I have to get it done now. And then after we go to the DMV, I have to go back to the Mayo Clinic because they decided in my appointment yesterday that maybe I don't have a tremor. Maybe they misdiagnosed me. So now I have to go take a movement lab to actually see if I have a tremor or if I have something else. And if I don't have a tremor, I'm going to have an identity crisis because they diagnosed me with a tremor when I was like two. And if I don't have that, I'm going to lose some faith. I'm gonna lose some faith in you, Mayo Clinic. But anyways, so that'll be ultra interesting. But, oh my gosh, and then I have another thing after that. My mom and I are going to Cannon Falls, which no one, frankly, is gonna know where that is who's watching this. Cannon Falls to pick up my sister who spent like the past week with her friends in the city. So, dentist, DMV, Mayo Clinic, Cannon Falls. It's a lot on the agenda. I am I'm debating right now whether or not I want to release a video next week. And you might be thinking, oh, why like why don't you know? Well, you know, it's Christmas and I'm just I think I work a lot next week. I'm not sure if I have actually much going on, so it'll I'll I'll consider it for a few days and I'll let you know before the end of the week if I'm not releasing one for the week of Christmas. I mean, I'm probably gonna, but I don't know for sure because there's just really nothing's gonna be there. Bringing it back to today, it's a day of everyone's least favorite things if you think about it. The dentist, no one likes the dentist. If you like going to the dentist, get off this channel. Second, the DMV. No one likes going to the DMV. If you like going to the DMV, 
you're lying to yourself because that one's even more unlikable than the dentist. And then the last one is medical testing, which who wants to be medically tested? So <laughs> it's going to be a great day. I'll see you there. Good news! I had like 89 teeth though that are on the watch list for cavities, but they've been on the watch list for like two years now and I'm keeping them at bay, which is fantastic. Um, I got in there and out of there quicker than I figured. Now I'm heading back home and you know, I was kind of stupid this morning. I forgot that when I go to the DMV, I'm gonna have to take a new photo and I didn't put any makeup on and my shirt's really ugly too. So this is gonna be a bad photo. This photo will never see the light of day. It's bad. But I'll keep you in the loop for that. Finished at the DMV, it was hell, but now we're at the Asian market, so it's gonna be good. Here is what I got from the Asian market. Spring rolls, so yummy. Ew, good lunch, good lunch. Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. I thought I would do a little Christmas haul because I opened up all my Christmas presents last night because I won't be home for Christmas. So let's start. First up, this backpack. Traveling backpack off of Amazon. Super cute Nike socks because I needed socks, yeah. Um, I got a big ass rug too, but that's outside. So I'll just show you that when I unpack it. I got a tea bag organizer, which I'm actually very excited about because all my tea bags right now are just sitting out and about in my apartment, which is kind of goofy. My grandma got me this perfume sampler set from Sephora. So it has um, Carolina Herrera, Clean Reserve, Nest New York, Prada Beauty, Ralph Lauren, Valentino, and Victor and, oh, Victor and Ralph. So, I'm very excited. These will travel very nicely too, which is fantastic. Oh, hi, sneaker. Oh, ooh, that's over. Okay, next. <laughs> I got her. I got the 1989 Tangerine Limited Edition vinyl from Target. She's gorgeous, she's blinding. I'm doing this right in the sun, which might be an issue, but she's beautiful. I got seaweed. I know, very nice. This cooking set, which I'm also very excited about. All my presents this year were like functional Christmas gifts, pretty much. Nothing too fun, but 
I still love them and I adore them. And there's like nothing on here that was on my Christmas list video I did, but that's fine. I love all these. And then I also got all these shirts, but when I put my sizing down, I was too optimistic and I put a small when I'm not a small. So that's really sucky, but time to let all the animals in. Come in, come in. But yeah, that's my Christmas haul. Thank you for looking at it with me. Oh, also my mommy did my nails last night. Christmas colors. <laughs> good evening, everyone. I have good news and I have bad news. I'm gonna start with the bad news first. The bad news is, is my dog Wilson died today, which was really hard. I'm the one that found him dead on the side of the road. So that really sucked ass and that took up most of my day. Um, the good news, I was like, well, this day can't get shittier. So I ate an egg for the first time in three years and it did not make me horrendously sick. So I think I can eat eggs again, but yay, give and take, give and take. But um, me and her, we're not doing super well. So I guess I'll see how this week progresses, but I was not supposed to be at my house right now. I was supposed to go to my dad's, but I was immobile all day because I was crying. You know that video I took earlier and he was in it? Yeah, died like within the half hour, so. Mm, super good, super good. I am on my way right now to go get an oil change for my car because I was supposed to get one in June <laughs> and it's December so I'm gonna go do that and then afterwards I'm going to my friend Haley's house and meeting some of her college friends which I'm really nervous about and as you guys could probably guess I am definitely not going to be bringing out the vlog in front of a bunch of people I don't know so I'll just have to let you know how that goes, but it's a very big day for me. I've never gone and gotten my oil changed by myself. And you might be thinking now, Bella, you're 21. Oh my God. Uh, you might be thinking, Bella, you're 21 years old. How have you never gone by yourself to change your oil before? And to that, I'd say my grandma has always insisted on going with me just to, I don't know, get out of the house, make sure it gets done. So she's always gone and she's a very take charge lady. She loves to yell at people. So I've never had to do this myself, but I'm I'm ready. I'm a grown up, so I can go get my oil changed. Obviously not on time, because I'm six months late, but it will be all good, so. Ah! Guys, Christmas hasn't happened yet. If you want to give me a Christmas gift, get me something that will hold my phone up so it doesn't fall over every time I change speeds on the road. I would love that. Yeah, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Chad and I just did our little Christmas, so I figured we should do a little Christmas haul and show you what we got each other. I'll go first. This is, don't show them. No sneak peeks. First up, Chad got me this cute little purse. I don't know what I'm going to use her for, but she is mighty cute. And I love small things. Next, he got me the black cherry Chamberlain coffee candle. And it smells so good, so good. And then last, but definitely not least at all, he got me Taylor Swift merch. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Karma is a cat, purr. All right, and now Chad will show you what he got. I got a gratitude journal which I'm very thankful for, which I will be writing in as entry number one. <laughs> and I got a jelly cat, which is not a cat, it's actually a frog. 
but I'm not sure what his name is. So that's what we got for Christmas. And I know what you're thinking, Bella, one of your guys' presents looks way more expensive than the other person's. We had two different budgets set, so please no one give me a hard time. But thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. Also, as you can see, I'm back from Minnesota, which was crazy. And I got a bunch of stuff. And I'm working on unpacking all the stuff that I bought this week. But it's been super good. And I decided I will be posting a vlog for next week. So I'll see you for Christmas week. Thank you.